and also Andrew Heyman and Peter Clark. They were looking into the original uh, police investigation into phone hacking that was obviously found quite wanting uh, subsequently. Again, there's going to be no further action taken on that. But the one thing that has been flagged up uh, by Deborah Glass um, is that there is going to be in, an independent investigation into the Assistant Commissioner John Yates and the fact that uh, it's, there's these allegations that he secured a job at the uh, Scotland Yard uh, for Neil Wallace's daughter. Now, Neil Wallace, of course, is the former deputy editor at the News of the World who was giving PR advice to the Met Police and is now um, under bail for allegations of phone hacking. Uh, what's been the reaction of those involved? Because the timing of this is particularly interesting given that the deadline uh, passed for the Met Police Chief's job. Yes, the um, timing really is quite unusual, uh, to say the least. Um, well, so far we've had a bit of reaction uh, from Sir Paul Stevenson, who said that he isn't surprised at the findings, um, and he's just, just sorry that the amount of resources have been wasted in looking into those allegations surrounding him. Uh, but John Yates has also spoken out to say that he's disappointed at the news that there is going to be this investigation into him, and, but he's very confident that he will be exonerated. should point out, though, that this might not be the end of it uh, for those police officers involved, because... It's a very specific thing that the IPCC is looking into, and that's whether there's evidence of criminality uh, or anything that they should be disciplined about. Uh, she's uh, made very clear in this report, uh, Deborah Glass, that what is continuing is this public inquiry led by Lord Levinson into the wider conduct of the police. So I would imagine that there's going to be a lot more scrutiny of the officers involved in the future. OK, Sophie, thanks for the update.